Hi, and welcome to this live reading from Finding His Zen by Tammy Mannersley, and this is presented by Itsy Bitsy Book Bits. Chapter 1 The fluorescent overhead lighting glistened on the glossy paper as the unruly corners of the new promotional poster fought to curl inward. Tearing clear tape with her teeth, Xenia Ambino fixed the advertisement to the sunflower yellow wall as she swayed her hips to the energetic beat of motivational music which pounded atmospherically through her gymnasium's main floor. When matched with the whir of stationary bikes and elliptical trainers, the thump of numerous feet on treadmills, and the clink and occasional bang of the weight machines, the din created a unique symphony of noise, a masterpiece she enjoyed daily. Is that the guy, Zen? The familiar huskiness of her father's voice had her glancing over her shoulder after slapping the final piece of tape in place. Of course that is the guy, Leo. This place is full of different pictures of his face, and look, there's even his name on the sign. Zen's mother, still attractive and slender in her sixties, her accent tinged with her Mediterranean origins, corrected her husband with a point of her finger. Oh, Gabriella, Leo grumbled wiggling his salt-and-pepper mustache as he raised an age-creased palm skyward. I don't know his name. All celebrities look alike anyhow. Why would she put up a picture of a different celebrity? His wife argued. This is the one they've asked to cut the ribbon with big scissors. As her mother gestured once more to the poster, Zen cast a look back at the lustrous image. The handsome hunk pictured there with the million-dollar smile all dripping wet, a multitude of muscles bunched as he hoisted himself free of the blue lap pool, was coming to the grand reopening of her family's recently refurbished health and aquatic center in just two days' time. Butterflies burst to life in Zen's stomach, fluttering around in a nervous tremble of anticipation and excitement. His dad's is, His name is Sebastian Dumont, Dad, she drew an invisible line beneath the advert's text. Elite gold medalist, four-time Olympian, and all-round swimming champion. It wouldn't hurt if you could remember that before he shows up on Saturday. You know your father, Gabriella told her daughter. He remembers every name when it comes to the soccer, but when it's swimming, he's all at sea. Bah, Leo exclaimed, waving his hands dismissively. He's actually from around here, Daddy. Alexis Andino, baby of the family, appeared at her father's side and slipped an arm affectionately around his brawny bicep. From our sleepy little seaside suburb, he lived down the, the road. We even went to the same kindergarten, or at least that's what it says on Wikipedia. Yes, but not at the same time, Lexi, Zen glanced at her younger sister, the woman who was her opposite in so many ways. Where Zen was shorter and petite with long, dark hair, Lexi was tall and leggy with a choppy, bleached bob. Her sister was trendy, wore name-brand clothing, and maintained numerous selfie-laden social media accounts. While Zen preferred the simpler things, was perennial perennially happy and completely at ease with her natural self and her bold European features. When Sebastian was five, you were barely a blip in mom and dad's thoughts. Yeah, well, mom was pregnant with you at the time, but that doesn't detract from the fact we still attended the same kindy. Any famous connection is still a famous connection, Zen. Her sister's adamant expression had Zen giggling. I hope you're not planning on telling him that, Lex. I'm sure you wouldn't be the first to try to claim celebrity status by association. Don't be silly. I've got more tact than that. Lexi released her father's arm and strutted over to the poster, nudging Zen out of the way before striking a photographic-ready pose in front of it. You can't deny I'd be suited to the lifestyle, though. Can't you see my picture up on the wall like this? Or on a billboard in the city? Yes, yes, my baby, Gabrielle cuddled her youngest daughter. I can see it. I've always known you were meant to achieve great things. I could imagine either of my two beautiful daughters gracing the world in such a way, Leo beamed, offering his eldest a sly wink. Forever the diplomat of the family, Zen's father had always worked to create equality between his daughters. Even though his wife had a habit of praising the girl's attractiveness, Leo had wanted his children to rely on life skills beyond their good looks. He had encouraged them to strive for personal goals, creating in them a strength of character and resilience like the kind his own father had instilled in him. Although Lexi hadn't learned the same dedication and determination her sister had, likely due to her mother's frequent doting, Leo's lessons had helped Zen flourish and had strengthened their father-daughter bond. Zen smiled as Lexi pulled free from her mother's embrace to continue posturing for the invisible paparazzi. Dream big, little sister. I believe if you work hard, you can achieve anything. Ugh, 
for Sister Brown. Celebrities don't work hard. They just are. Their looks and reputations secure their stardom. Alexis, her father approached gingerly. I think Zen means earning that reputation can initially take a lot of hard work. Not for me, Daddy. I plan on being discovered. And why not look at my baby? Gabriella grabbed her youngest chin and twisted it side to side before Lexi batted her hand away. Is she not gorgeous? She turned to Xenia, grabbed her hand and dragged her closer. Are both my babies not the most beautiful girls? Yes, Gabriella, Thea concurred. We have been blessed with the most wonderful of daughters. Okay, parents, Zen briefly hugged her mother before pulling free of the embrace. Enough soppy compliments for one day. Some of us have to get back to work. Dinner is at six, darling, Gabriella reminded her before her youngest daughter stole her attention once again. Zen was never surprised by her mother's sudden dismissal to focus on the baby of the family. Lexi's demand for attention and reassurance was relentless, and Gabriella enjoyed the opportunity to fawn over at least one of her daughters. Her constant doting on Lexi took some of the pressure off of Zen, letting her concentrate on her own desires instead of only those that aligned with her mother. When Zen passed her father, he snatched her hand and squeezed it lovingly. You are the heart of this place, he told her, gesturing around the complex. I hope this swimmer man's visit helps you achieve your dreams. Thanks, Dad. She pecked him on the cheek and then left the three of them as they continued discussing Lexi's copious star qualities. She prayed her father was right and hoped Sebastian Dumont's participation in the grand reopening activities of the Poseidon Shore Health Club would give the business a beneficial boost. Although a surge in new memberships had followed their soft opening a month ago, Zen wanted to do everything in her power to ensure that the establishment that was bequeathed to her on her grandfather's passing last year surpassed expectations and stood its ground against its modern competitors. Her beloved grandfather had always known her passion for the health and fitness industry matched his own, and while he'd included her mother, father, and Lexi as minority shareholders on the handover of the original outdated gymnasium, he had left Zen with the majority stake and a substantial amount of savings to complete all her refurbishment plans. He'd shared her dream to turn this magnificent new center with its state-of-the-art exercise machines, highly qualified instructors, contemporary classes, and indoor and outdoor swimming pools into one of the most renowned in the area. As Zen approached the front reception desk, both the sportswear-clad female powerlifter standing behind it and the lazy, sleepy-eyed golden retriever curled up below raised their head and greeted her with a smile. Amy? Zen nodded at the woman. Melrose, she greeted her furry companion with a scratch to the top of his skull. How's the boarding been so far? Any newbies coming through? We had a few before nine. A couple signed up to attend Lenny's yoga class, but not much since. The redhead flicked her braid over her shoulder and gestured to the dog still panting cheerfully near her feet. Mel has been doing, doing a great job, though, encouraging our members to bring in their canine buddies. I took some people through to the fenced yard, showed them our dog-friendly activities, so I think he might have a few playdates planned in the coming weeks. Who's a lucky boy? Zen bent briefly to rub Mel's silky ears before looking back at Amy. So how are we going with everything for the opening on Saturday? On track? Yep, so far so good. We've had a call from Channel 7 News confirming their attendance. Amy's eyes twinkled excitedly. The gym's opening will be a featured story around the country. I know you don't like the limelight, Zen, but you've got to admit that's pretty awesome for business. Sure thing, as long as it's Lexi's image flashing on everyone's television screen and not mine. I still can't believe you asked her to be the face of the complex. This place is your baby. It should be you who's the star of the segment. Definitely not my thing, Ames. Plus, I think you're forgetting that no one outshines Lexi. Not even celebrity swim star Sebastian Dumont? <laughs> I doubt even him, Zen laughed and strode across to the open doorway leading to the back office, but a final comment from Amy had her pausing before entering. I guess not being in the spotlight beside him means he'll have more time to admire his hunky physique from afar? Of course not, Ames. I'll be keeping things strictly professional. She winked playfully before slipping into the back room. As she did so, the smartphone in the back pocket of her denim shorts chimed, heralding a new email. Tagging the device free, she tapped the screen and read the text bubble. Morning, Xenia. Flights are confirmed for midday tomorrow. Accommodation plans have changed. We're no longer booked in the city. Seb and I will be staying in Sandgate at Seb's request. New contact details. Blue Water View Beach House and on Flinders Par Parade. If you need anything before Saturday, you've got my contact info. Emmett Hobbs, Palette Agent, The Icon Agency, Sydney. 
Elation swirled through Zen's veins, a buzz of adrenaline. She grinned and put the phone back in her pocket. Things were coming together as planned, and in two days' time, Sebastian Dumont, the gorgeous Adonis, and her teenage idol would be coming to her little town to support her new business. She might have been joking with Amy about her intentions to ogle the swimming superstar, but she couldn't help but be over the moon about meeting him in person. She'd dreamed of it ever since she tacked a poster of him up on her bedroom wall when she was 16. How many people got to meet and work with their lifelong celebrity crush? It was a literal dream come true, and Zen felt blessed by destiny that it was actually going to happen.